Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I have stuff. Welcome to episode 35 of action RPG game in Unity. Character defeat handler refactoring. Right now the character defeat handler is heavily coupled with components on the character because of usage of get component and explicit storage of components like this. Meaning if you need to add some kind of new component, you will have to get into this script for reference and store the reference through the usage of get component, which is extremely laborious when you're trying to add a new systems into the game. Instead, we want to introduce a more modular approach to the handling of the defeat state of the character. To do this, we will rip all this out and make a Unity event. Don't worry, the best day of the programmer is not the day when he writes code, it is day when he clean his code up. After cleaning our defeat handler, let's create two new Unity events. This is a delegate, which allows you to subscribe methods and call them when you invoke this delegate. And Unity event is a wrap around this delegate. You have seen those events in things like buttons. So invoke the events on defeat and on respond. This will call and execute all the subscribed methods to those events. Now go into the editor and you will see character defeat handler having the on defeated and on respawned events where we can recreate the process of respawning and defeating the player. So we need to stop and disable the nav mesh agent. So you can see in the defeat event we are disabling everything what we need for our character to function. So he will stop moving, stop functioning, doing anything. And in the respawn, we're doing the opposite. We are activating the, play, uh, the character. So he can start moving, attacking and doing stuff. We need to disable the collider, so you can't click on the defeated character anymore. And he will not obscure the way for uh, other characters. Disable attack, interact, player character and character movement input. We need to show the defeated panel. and restore the character health by calling character restore when he is being respawned. But there is a problem. We can't call the restore method from the delegate. It's because those delegates cannot call internal methods. Simply change the access to the public and we can call restore now.
Let's test this. To speed up the process, we can manually change the player HP to be defeated faster. So we can test things faster, you know, save time. There is an error. It is caused by command handler, which should be easy to fix by simply adding the command handler to be disabled in the event. Good. Let's test the respawn process. Get defeated and respawn. And if your setup is correct, your character will respawn. This error happens because we set is stopped to be false before we enable the character. An easy fix. Just set the enough mesh to be enabled before the is stopped set to be false. Good. So now let's set up defeat process on our enemy. Where we will similarly disable and stop the nav mesh agent. Disable an AI for the enemy. Disable the collider. And in respawn, restore the health. Good. Small fix, we need to stop the object first and then disable the nav mesh agent. And we need to disable command handler. Let's test this. We are defeating enemies. In next episode we will start spawning enemies on our scene. Let's clean our root folder. Good, this is it for this episode. With best regards, see you in the next episode.